The air felt cold and damp as Eileen stirred in her bed and tried to pull a bit more of the blanket up to her shoulders. Her little sister Peggy moved against her. Peggy was snoring again. She always did when she had a cold. The fire was nearly out. The hot ash made a soft glow in the gloom of the cottage. Mother was crooning quietly to the baby. Bridget's eyes were closed and her soft face looked paler than ever as she lay wrapped in Mother's shawl, her little fist clinging to a piece of the long chestnut coloured hair. Field after field after field of potatoes had died and rotted in the ground. The crop, their food crop was gone. All the children stared, eyes large and frightened, for even they knew that now the hunger would come.